Welcome to Chair Fit. My name is Terry. We're going to do an exercise class working the whole body. All you need is a nice sturdy chair and some hand weights if you have any, one or two pounds, or you can use two water bottles or even a couple cans of soup. So if you're ready and you found a nice sturdy chair, make sure you're wearing comfortable clothes. Of course, you're gonna to listen to your body today. We're gonna to stand behind the chair to begin with. And we're just gonna do some exercises uh, to warm up the body from here. So let's just take a nice deep breath. Take a nice stretch up towards the ceiling and then exhale it out. Let's do that two more times. Just breathe in, stretch, good release. One more time. And then we're gonna work on the shoulders. So just loosen up the shoulder joints. So movement, is the best medicine. Helps with anti-aging, or war warms up the joints, getting rid of stiffness and pain. Let's circle the other way. We improve circulation, our immune system, helps lower blood pressure. Oh, just numerous things. Just movement is so important. Good, and then we're gonna take our hands and place them right on the shoulders and we're gonna make some elbow circles. So you're gonna feel it in the side ribs so you get a little bit more range of motion. Just taking those elbows up, gently back and down. And again, range of motion depends on you. And then we'll go the other direction. Great, and then we can go up and down with the elbows. Loosening up the shoulders. You can take the elbows out, squeeze them in and open. And you can also take it side by side to side, stretch the side body, the laterals, by lifting one elbow towards the ceiling. And then gently bringing it down and then gently inching up the other elbow. Just feel that nice stretch in your side. Good, and then coming back. Good, we're gonna take our hands down, take our hands to our hips. Do some hip circles. Loosen up the lower back and the spine, and then circle the other direction. It's kind of like you're doing the hula hoop. So nice big circles with the hips. And then we're going to hold on to the chair and we're going to walk in place. So you're going to lift the heels coming up on the ball of the feet. So this is, of course, going to warm up the knees and the ankles and the feet. Good. So just continue to walk in place. So you want to be in really nice soft shoes or bare feet. Or if you're going to wear socks, make sure they have a sticky bottom or you're in a nice secure place so you don't slip. Let's do a few more. Good, last one. And then we're gonna do some squats. So we're gonna actually just bend the knees, glide the hips back, and then you have the option of taking the hands off the chair. So as the hips go back and you bend your knees, you can slide your arms forward. They want to, you want their arms to be parallel to the floor. So your arms are your counterbalance. As the hips go back, the arms come forward. Just two more, and then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to take the arms out to the side. So we're squatting back. It's a high squat. It's as if you're sitting back in a stool behind you. The arms are reaching wall to wall. And as you can see, I'm gently gazing down, keeping my eyes focused on one spot for balance. Just four more. Three, two, remember range of motion depends on you. Beautiful, take your hands. We're gonna bring our feet closer to the chair. We're gonna bring the hands out in front of us. We're gonna start some circles so the arms are straight. Start to loosen up the shoulders by making circles out in front. Relax and breathe here. 
and then circle the opposite direction. Still in the warm up stage. You have some nice heat in the body, get the circulation moving. And then take the arms out to the side and circle back. So just relax. Think about being nice and tall, but your knees are soft, shoulders are relaxed. Good, change directions, taking the hands forward. Great, let's do four more, two more, and then bringing the hands all the way front, as if you're grabbing a steering wheel, we're gonna do some turns. So one hand on top, the other hand on the bottom. This works those shoulders. Start incorporating the whole body. So you're leaning one direction and then the other. And it's a nice big circle you're creating. Good, we'll do four more. Great, last one. And then we're gonna take the arms up. We're gonna climb the ladder. So you're lifting up towards the ceiling. And you're just reaching and pulling down. Reach up, pull down. And then we're gonna do four. We're gonna reach up for three. Good, reach for two. And last one, give me your best reach. Reach and reach. Now let's take that reach forward and pull it in. So reaching out, pull in. You want to reach out as far as you can. Draw the energy in. Four more. Just two. And last one. Great. Now holding on to the chair, we're going to Get our feet ready. Our feet are gonna to come together. We're gonna to do something called the tick-tock where we lift up the right leg. The toe is pointing forward. Then we bring it in, tick-tock the other leg open, and then bring it in. So lift and lift. So you're shifting your weight and lifting the leg out to the side. You're holding on to your chair for balance. And again, height doesn't matter. You just wanna be engaging those inner outer thighs. Good, last four. Three. Two. And one. Good, now taking that right leg, we're gonna step it back. Point the toe, tap it, bring it back in. Reach back and tap. Tap. So now we're starting to engage the hamstrings and the glutes. So just lifting up the foot, tapping the toe behind for four. Keep holding the chair for stability. Just two more. You don't want to lock your joints so my elbows are relaxed. My supporting leg has a slight bend in the knee, meaning you have a little micro bend in that supporting leg. Good, pick up that foot, tap the toe back, bring it in. Tap and together. Four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna take the feet nice and wide. We're gonna do some sumo squats, they call it. We just bend the knees. So the legs are as wide as it's comfortable for you. You're bending the knees, and you're just loosening everything up as the hips drop down and back. Just a few more. Of course, you can try taking the hands off for balance. Or even make a fist and squeeze it down. Sumo squats. More intense. The lower you go, the higher the arms. Great. And then relax. Bringing the feet together. We're walking the feet together very slowly and shake out the legs. Take a nice deep breath here because we're going to go to the side of our chair and work on balance. So 
as you hold on to the side of the chair, you're gonna step the outside leg forward and we're just gonna rock front and back. Now you're shifting your weight forward and back. As you shift back, the front toe comes up. As you shift forward, the back heel comes up. So you wanna make sure that you're comfortable here and you can continue to hold the chair. You're just stepping one foot about a normal uh, length, stepping length, and then we're, we're gonna rock, lifting the heel, lifting the toe, rocking forward and back. So you're just getting comfortable shifting your weight from one leg to the other. So you're going into a full leg, they call it, and then about 90% of your weight now is in this front leg, and only about 10 is in the back leg. And then we're gonna shift the weight, about 90 in the back, and only about 10 in the front. You, go, you should be able to easily pick up your heel. And then shift forward, easily pick up your toe, shift back. And you can add the arms. So the arm comes forward, as the weight's in the back leg, and then you come and just let the arm swing. Good, just two more. Getting comfortable shifting your weight. Good, and then coming back to center and then try lifting both heels off the ground and just balancing. Maybe let go of the chair for an instant. So you're on the balls of your feet and then you're gonna lower those heels down. Good, you're gonna walk to the other side. So we start with this inside foot near the back leg of the chair and step this leg forward. And it doesn't have to be a big step, just come straight ahead and then shift the weight and shift back and lift the toe. Shift forward, lift the back heel. Shift back and raise the front toe. Good, and you can just let the arms swing. You can use both arms. So it's just like you're walking down the street. Shifting your weight. You've got the chair if you need it. And then we're going to come back. So that 50% of the weight's on the front leg. 50 is on the back. We're going to come up on the balls of the feet. You can take your arms out to the side or just keep them right there at your hip and maybe take your other hand off. So we've just lifted the heel an inch and then we'll slowly take it down. Good, come back to the back of the chair. Same thing, but this time we're gonna be holding the chair the whole time, raise up on the balls of the feet and then lower the heels. Good, roll forward, rocking forward, lifting the heels and gently rock back. Maybe lift the toes a little bit. Come forward, balance on the toes. Rock back, lift the toes. Come forward and hold. Work in the calves. And then lower the heels and just gently rock back. Good, so this next time we're gonna roll up on the balls of the feet. We're gonna see if we can balance on the toes with the hands off the chair. So both my heels are off the ground. Good. And then we're going to bend the knee when you're done. Shake off the legs really good. So that really strengthens the ankles and the calves, which is an important part of balance. That lower body strength is so important. Good. So that's the balance for the day. We're going to go ahead and come to our chair. We're going to find our hand weights. So you want to sit somewhere in the center of your chair with your feet out in front of you and the feet flat on the floor. And we're going to actually start, we're going to do four repetitions of double arms and then eight repetitions of single arms. 
So we're gonna start with this, it's called the hammer grip. The hands are at your side. We're gonna do some lateral raises, which is straight out in front, I mean out to the side. And then we're gonna lower it down. So notice that my wrists are slightly in front of my elbow. My elbow is slightly in front of my shoulders. So we're only doing four of these. So let's, if we've got a little bit behind, let's do one more. And then we're gonna go right into single. So you're just gonna do one arm, single, and then lower down slow and controlled, and then the other arm. So here's seven, and then lift for six, lift for five, lift for four, lift for three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna go ahead Still have that hammer grip, we're gonna take it forward. So here's our front raise, and then we're gonna exhale it down nice, slow and control back to the hips. Inhale, come up to shoulder height, lower down slow and controlled. A couple more. Gently lift and make sure you're sitting up tall, you're not rounding, you're tall, your spine is lengthened, and the crown of the head is nice and lifted. So this is the last, double now watch we're going to go right into single so just one arm comes forward take it down nice and slow other arm comes forward and release it good lift for six release five release four three two so listen to your body. We're gonna come up again forward. So the arms, the weight's right in front of your chest and the arms are parallel to the floor. We're gonna lift the, well, let's lift both arms first. So we're gonna go up for four, three, two, and one, and then singles. So just a little bit over the head. And here's six. And here's four. Good, last one right here. And then we're gonna draw the hands in. So we're gonna come in for four. Elbows all to the side. Three, two, and one. So we're gonna keep both hands at the chest. We're just gonna do singles. So right arm comes straight out, left arm. Right, left, right, left. Stand, remember your breathing. And here's our last one. And now watch my elbows. Weights are gonna stay right at the chest, the elbows lower to the ribs. Both elbows come up for four, three, two, and one. Good, singles, right, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take a nice deep breath. We're gonna bring our feet together. We're gonna to go ahead and take both weights to the outside of our legs. We're gonna row up. So we're doing four in a row. Both arms come up towards the arms. Pits, lift and lower. And let's do one more. If you missed that first one, and then we'll go to singles. Right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm. There's four more, right, left, right, and left. Next exercise is called the fly, four double arms. Out to the side for four. Lift for three, lift for two, lift for one. Single, starting with the right arm. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Good, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take the weights right by our lap. We're gonna take the legs out so they're more hip distance apart. We're gonna do some Russian twists and it looks like this. So we're gonna have the weights here right in front of us. We're gonna to twist to the right towards the hip and come back. And then we're gonna take both weights. So you can add, just to add that little twist as you bring both weights to the hip and come back to center. Exhale, twist, and twist, and twist. And you're slightly leaning back. And if you're against the chair, you want to scoot up just a little bit. You want to make sure you're in the center of your chair, not all the way back. Here's the last one, little Russian twist, and twist. Okay, so this next one is a diagonal. So what we're going to do is take both of our weights, we're gonna come up into the diagonal, bring it down to the hip. So you're gonna lift for four, three, two, and one. And now singles, it's always this inside arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. So holding on to both weights, you lift, take it to the opposite shoulder, lift it to a diagonal. Just two more. Last one. And the inside arm goes out into the corner. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bringing the weights back up so my elbows are in close. The next exercise is we're gonna take both arms and cross them at the chest. Bring it back open, cross at the chest. Arms are at 90 degrees, cross at the chest. Arms are back at 90, cross at the chest. So the arms are like in an L shape. Now we're gonna do our single, so single arm across the chest, tapping the opposite shoulder. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna finish with the arms at our side. We're gonna do full bicep curls coming all the way from the hips and all the way up. So this is the last double, and then we're gonna to go to singles, right side, left side. Just four more. Four, three, two, one. When you work your biceps, you should also work your triceps. So we're gonna lean forward, press back. So you're pressing your weights behind your chair. We're doing four doubles, of course. Pushing straight back, and now singles. Right arm presses, left arm presses. Lift, lift. Good, for four more. Just single arms. Good, last time. Very good, and then we're gonna go ahead and take our weights. We're gonna put them underneath our chair. And so you can't fall or trip on them. We're gonna begin with some lower body work and then we're gonna do some combos. So we're gonna begin with the right leg. So the other ankle is right below the knee. So your foot's not out here. Bring the, and the toe is under the knee, the ankle's under the knee. The other leg is gonna step out. So we're starting to warm up the hip joint. So we're just coming out to a range of motion that works for you. Four, three, two, and now we're gonna add a crossover. So we're gonna take, take it out, cross over the ankle. Step it out, cross at the ankle. Good, six, cross, 
five, cross, just four, three, two, and here's our last one. We're gonna step back out wherever you feel comfortable and we're gonna kick the soccer ball. So I'm not leading with a toe. In soccer, you kick with the side of your shoe. So you're kind of leading more with the heel. So coming up, tapping to the side, lifting up. For four, three, two, last one. And we'll let that hip relax. So if it's a little tight, do some easy little circles, loosen it up. And if it's still tight, take it out to the heel. Just rock the entire leg from right to left. Relax that hip, relax that knee. If you feel a little fatigued from that. So release any tension in the leg. So we can begin on the other side. So when you're ready, start the tap. Range of motion depends on you, how far you wanna go. Four more. Step for three, two, last one. We're gonna cross over the ankle, opposite ankle. Good, just four. Step out for three, cross. Step out for two and cross. Step out for one and cross. Now stepping out, but kicking your soccer ball and tap, kick, and tap, just six, five, four, three, two, and one. So that's enough hip work for now. And again, just maybe lifting or, you know, a couple knee circles, just loosen up that hip, if it's tight, and feel free to take the heel out, just rock it from side to side. So a lot of people aren't used to using that hip flexor muscle and using the hips in that way, those muscles. So always just take, extend the leg, gently rock, rock it out. Good, so we're gonna relax and stretch the back real quick before we go into anything else. So we're gonna bring the feet together, hold on to the knees and curl the spine. So this should feel good. You're just relaxing your back. When you're ready, sitting up tall and just kind of leaning forward, we're looking down at your shoes. And then when you're ready, come up and pull the navel in towards the spine as you tuck your chin to chest. Good, come forward. And again, leading with the heart. Your back is long. And we're gonna do this two more times. So holding your knees and rounding. Release and come forward. Good, last time, exhale and curl. Good, when you're ready, Come forward. Good, and then we're gonna sit up tall, taking the arms out in front of us with the palms facing forward. Take your right arm. Start to follow that arm back. It's starting to go into a little rotation of the spine. When you can't go any farther, bring the hands back together and just breathe normally here. And then when you're ready, start to follow the other hand back. When you feel some resistance in that shoulder, that's telling you to start slowing down and then slowly bring it back in. We're gonna do it one more time on each side. Go ahead and open, maybe take the arm a little farther back this time if you can. Looking over your shoulder. And then inhaling back to center. Take it to the other side. So the spine can go 
go forward back, it can rotate from side to side, and it also can laterally bend. So we're gonna take one arm over the head, just do a nice lateral stretch. And then take it to the other side, the arm comes straight up towards the ceiling. Maybe you stop there. Maybe you can start to inch that arm overhead for a deeper stretch. Don't overdo it. And then we're going to sit back up. We're going to take our hands and interlace our fingers. We're going to walk our feet together. We're going to turn the palms away. Circle out in front. Circle the other direction. Good, and then sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna do some exercises with the lower body, but we're gonna add the upper body. So we're gonna take our feet to a V and then walk it back to the toes. So step out to a V and bring the feet back in. So the hands can follow the legs. Step out right, left, right, left. Reach out. So the feet are coming out to a diagonal. Pulling it back in underneath the knees. Four. Three. Two, and one. Good, now with the heel, we're just gonna do a heel touch. You can also add the arm, same arm as leg. Push and back, push and back. Good, tap that heel. Four, Three, two, both sides, last one. And then take, sure the feet are flat, we're gonna cross the arms, we're gonna lean forward, and then we're gonna lean back and just try and just lightly tap the back of the chair and then come forward. So this is all about core. We're coming forward and back and keeping our core engaged. So as we come forward, using our core to sit up nice and tall. As we go back, we're using our core to bring ourselves back up to a nice straight spine. Just a couple more. Last one. And then one more core exercise. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sit up nice and tall. What we're gonna do is bring the arms out in front of us and we're gonna wrap around our wrists. So the arms stay out in front of the chest. We draw the knee to meet the arms. And as you do, you're pulling your navel in towards your spine. So the arms don't move, but your, make, your stomach is moving and your knees are moving. So your navel is pulling in towards your back. Each time the knee lifts, the stomach crunches. Try and keep your arms out in front without moving them. You're not doing this. You want to keep those arms steady. Make the stomach work. Crunch. Draw it in. Navel to spine. Just a couple more. Last time. And then we're going to take the arms out to the side. We're going to kick the leg. And as we kick the right, well, let's just do the leg kicks first. All it is is a simple leg extension. So you're just trying to straighten the leg all the way, pressing the heel forward. Now we're gonna add the arm. So as the right leg kicks, the left 
arm reaches towards the toe and we add a little twist. Coming back to center, kick and twist. Kick and reach. So the opposite hand is reaching towards the toe that's extending. Just four more. Good, give me two. Last one. Beautiful, take the arms down, rest those arms. We're gonna march in place. So the heart is a muscle too, so any chance you get, take a walk, even if it's around the block, and if you can't walk, then maybe just get in a chair and march in place. Just lift in the knees. Just allow those arms to swing. So go ahead and pump those arms. That'll help get that heart rate up. The higher you bring your knees, the faster your heart will pump. Good, and you want to be able to do this for at least 30 seconds. And then you can take the legs wide, march wide for 15 seconds. Breaks it up a little bit. Five more seconds. And then you start to walk your feet back together. Last 15 seconds, march as high as you can. Really pump those arms. Give me five more seconds. Running in place. Wonderful, and then relax. Good, take a deep breath. We're gonna reach those arms up. We're gonna exhale down. Again, we're gonna swing up. Good, exhale down. Last time, big lift. Good, and we're almost done. We're gonna take our Bodies all the way back to the very back of the chair, so you're actually resting on the back of the chair. The heels come out. We're gonna lift both legs up together. And then lift, we're gonna do four in a row. Double leg lifts. And then we're gonna go into singles, just like we did earlier. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take both legs up, hold it here. We're gonna flex and point. So both feet. And then we'll do singles. So really loosen up those ankles and feet. Very good. And then bring it down. Good, take your hands out. We're gonna do an exercise for your hands to relieve pain and stiffness in the fingers. So if you gain a little bit of arthritis, you're gonna open up your hands and then you're gonna bring all four fingers towards your thumb and make an O. And then you're gonna open up and spread the fingers and make an O. It's like you're making eyeglasses for yourself. So make that nice round O with your fingers, all four fingers. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do single. So just one finger at a time, tapping the thumb, making a circle, index finger. So let's add both sides, ring finger and baby finger. Good, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, baby finger, again. Last time, one finger at a time. Good, and then the palms are open. We're gonna squeeze, make a little fist, open the hands, make a tight little fist and squeeze. Open the fist, squeeze tight, 
open up last time, squeeze nice and tight, and gently open and hold. Good, bring your hands together, sit up nice and tall, the fingers are gonna go away, and then they're gonna come towards your body. You're gonna bring them away from you, and then towards, slide them away, and then in, out, and in. Two more times. Beautiful. And now you're gonna slide your hands up and ever so slightly start to work those arms together. So the elbows are trying to squeeze together as you lift the hand into the air. So do what you can. Just four more. Great, last one. We're gonna interlace those fingers so we can stretch them. Good, and then we're gonna stretch the lower body. So we're gonna scoot up all the way to the edge of our chair. One leg comes out, we fold forward. Either reach for the ankle, maybe touch the toe. This is great for stretching the hamstrings in the lower back. And then bring that right leg in. You're gonna give it a hug into the chest. Take that leg and cross it at the ankle and turn. Look behind you. See the twist. Good, come back to center. The other leg stands out. We come forward. We hug that knee to chest. Maybe roll out the ankle. Take that leg, cross it over the other ankle. Turn, look back. back to center, make sure both feet are flat. Our hands are gonna to come to our side. We're gonna dip the right ear to shoulder, maybe lifting that left arm into the ear if it's comfortable. Take a nice deep breath here. Now slowly lift your head, bring that outstretched arm across the body. Support the elbow, look the other way. Turn to center, sit up nice and tall. Dip the other ear to shoulder. Release the arms, maybe lift that opposite arm into the air. And then take that arm across. stretch for the neck. Returning to center, we're going to make sure our feet are flat on the floor because we're going to sweep the arms up and slowly bring the hands to the, in prayer, back to the heart center. Take a nice full breath, lift up. 
Exhale back to the heart. Good, two more. Good, last one. Inhale big. Good, exhale, relax. Stay here for one last cleansing breath. Notice how your body feels. Good, open your eyes, give yourself a pat on the back. Thanks for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. Hope to see you next week.